So, okay, so let's jump into my setup for my Galaxy Z Fold 2. Let's start, obviously, right here. And I'll be honest with you, I don't really customize this display and I don't really have a lot of setup for it. This is my lock screen for it, which is uh, just a bunch of fish, fish tank. This is my home screen. It's not my full out drawn out home screen that I have on my main display because I don't really play on here a lot. I just have a couple of social media apps, a couple of music apps, and that's generally it because when I use this, it's generally to either talk on the phone use a social media app real quick when I'm walking or to listen to a music app or uh, when I'm walking. And that's really it. It's the only time I really use the inside, the outside display is when I'm doing one of those things. I guess I can remove this because I have it in a folder. Um, but other than that, I don't have it. You know, these other apps, call, text, uh, Viber, which is another texting app, and then uh, camera. I don't really use it. So I don't really play too much in here. So let's open up my main display. And this is how I have this completely set up in the way I use it because I play on the main display the most. I love playing on the main display. It's so large and awesome and just makes everything so, so much more fun. Let's first walk through um, this part right here where we hold the uh, blank spot on the screen and go to home screen settings just to show you how I have everything set up. Home screen layout, I have home and app screens. Uh, six by five and six by six for the app screen and home screen grid. App button is turned off. App icon badges, which allows you to see if you have notifications. I've turned that on. Lock home screen layout, have it turned off. I like turning that on if you're always moving your icons, but I generally don't do that. Add uh, new apps to home screen. I do have that turned on. Swipe down for notification panel. I do that so I can swipe down from the middle of the screen or towards the bottom and I have not have to go all the way up just to see my notifications or my uh, quick panel. Rotate landscape to mo uh, ran rotate to landscape mode. I have that turned on because generally, I, I, with with most phones, I have it turned off. But on this phone, it, it's like a tablet, so I want it turned on. And that's um, that's what I have on that. Other than that, this is my layout here. It's just all apps, and this is my main screen. I have three three screens, three home screens, um, and we'll go through all the apps on this. But I have this, and I have the. Uh, Samsung weather and time. I was using a different one, but it was killing, killing my battery life. So I haven't, I, I actually got rid of the app. I deleted it. It was giving me too much issue. And I actually usually have this further down right here. The other thing is I, another app I used to use a lot and for some reason having a lot of issues with it, with battery life is map my walk. I know how my, long my walk is now, so I don't really need to use it. But if I'm going somewhere and I don't really know where I'm, how long the walk is, I'll turn that on. But that, for some reason, also kills my battery on the Z Fold 2. Not sure why. But anyways, I got ExpressVPN, so I turn that on if I need a VPN service. Um, then I have my health apps, which are, uh, you know, right there. My reading apps. Oh, and this is a similar setup to what I've used in the past with my other phones. And these are reading apps are more like, you know, like websites like Reddit or my Kindle app, which I don't really read books, but just in case. Daily Mail, which is just gossip news, kind of, or just real news, but it's in a gossip written format. Uh, wrestling news, Android news. Bleacher Report is like a mixture of any kind of sporting news. So I have that and get alerts about wrestling and stuff like that. TMZ, again, which is the gossip news. Then I got my music apps for music. Uh, the ones that I play in the most are the Google Podcast and Spotify. I jump into these other ones occasionally. Galaxy Wearable to see my Galaxy uh, Buds, I'll, if I wanna control them or do something like that. But I'll, occasionally I'll go through an, a, a spat where I'll listen to a lot of audio books or at least try to. Voice Recorder, I like to use that when I'm going to um, uh, demo some music that I've written on guitar. YouTube music, my, I usually use that with my son because it's easy to find like kid Halloween music right now. He's really into that. My smart apps is gonna control everything about my smart home. Um, I've got Alexa in there, Google Assistant, my Hue apps to control my smart lights, Nest, which is my thermostat and cameras, security cameras, Blink security cameras, Y security cameras, Lockly is my front door lock, uh, just a bunch of apps for Bond is a smart, home thing all this my queue is at my garage door just a bunch eufy security cameras i jump into that a lot so just a, a bunch of smart home stuff in here that i control banking I'm gonna do all my financial stuff in here 
videos. This is gonna be all video ups. I, I'll be honest, this is probably the, the one of the least used ones for me. Occasionally, I'll watch YouTube TV on here. Uh, I use the Roku app sometime to control the TV in my bedroom because that has Roku TV built into it. But other than that, I generally don't come in here and watch a lot of video like that. Shopping, I use Amazon a lot, Target a lot. That's probably my two most used apps in here. Uh, I buy a lot of stuff from Samsung, so I'll go in there and check it, how my order is and stuff like that. I have a food app now, so anytime I order food or uh, get food delivery, I'll, I'll you know gain reward points or you know order through the app like DoorDash. I probably use DoorDash the most out of all these. Got my camera app. I used to not do that, but uh, instead of having to double press the power button, sometimes it's easier to just press the camera button. So I have the camera button at the very top there. Uh, going down and my Google Apps, which is a mixture of mostly Google Apps, but I do have like my Yahoo Mail in there and I have my Send Anywhere app in there and Waze, and, but Waze is opened by, uh, owned by a Google. But basically this Google app is more like a utility app, a utility folder of different apps. Social media, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter. I use those a lot. Messenger, I'll use a little bit to send family uh, some photos. Uh, Google Voice, I use that as a, like a backup number. Yelp, when I'm looking at restaurant reviews or reviews on different businesses locally. And that's pretty much it. I usually don't use these other ones that much. I have a Google search bar right there. Um, to I use that a lot to search things on Google or to ask Google questions. Games. I have been playing way more games on this than I have on other phones. I play Cookie Jam a fair amount and uh, Two Dots sometimes. And that's pretty much it. Duo, Google Duo, I use that ton to video chat with my wife and my, uh, my sister and my mom a lot. I use that app a lot. Phone app, Chrome. Uh, then we've got Google Play Store, Viber, and then my texting app, which is Google Messages, Android Messages. I use those a lot, so those, those are why those are at the bottom. My second screen is just a uh, Samsung w uh, widget calendar. I like this one better than the Google one because it's um, see-through. You can see, kind of see the, back, the, the background a little bit. It's dimmed, but I still like the way it looks. It's really clean looking. And then on my last page, I have just random apps that I use occasionally that I haven't figured out if I want to keep them or not or delete them. Um, and sometimes, I guess I could put those Xbox ones in the, in the gaming folder. I probably will eventually, but I just haven't done that. As for like wallpaper and stuff, we'll go into uh, wallpaper and then my wallpapers and then downloaded. So I'm using Monsoon for my wallpaper. I got that in the Google, I, I'm sorry, in the Samsung uh, wallpaper store. Just go in there, search Monsoon if you like that one. And then the, the lock screen is called Tropical Corals. Um, that's that little video wallpaper that I have on my lock screen. I am currently at the time of making this video not using a case. I need to get one. Um, I'll probably get something thin and then probably, I usually don't put a pop socket, but my wife has a pop socket on hers. I might do that, just to make it a little bit more easier to hold this, but currently I have not been using a case with this, which is fairly uh, dangerous. I also need to wash my phone, it looks kind of dirty. As for headphones, I don't have them here, but generally use my Galaxy uh, Buds Live. Those are my, my main ones. I don't use a smartwatch at the time I'm making this video. And charging wise, I usually use one of my Samsung chargers to charge this up, like the 45 watt charger. My ringtones, I have Retro Neon. Nothing great. I have my Galaxy transmitters, my notification sound. And then lastly, for system sounds, I have Galaxy. And then quick toggles, uh, I keep Wi-Fi on. Sound, I generally keep that muted almost all the time. Bluetooth I leave on all the time. Uh, mobile data on, location on. Uh, I also always keep on, where is it, where is it, where is it? Dolby Atmos, I turn that on and I keep that at auto. And that's pretty much, oh, uh, edge lighting. I have this turned on. I have the lighting style set up as uh, this right here, glitter. And I also, for recent apps, 
Uh, I use a grid style on here and I got that from Goodlock. And then lastly, just to show you display, uh, I use motion smoothness adaptive. So you get that, you know, 120 Hertz. And then for power mode, I have it set to optimized. So there you guys go. Thanks for watching. That is my setup for my Galaxy Z Fold 2. My favorite phone I've ever, ever had. It's such a fun, exciting, cool phone. Get it. If you're thinking about getting it, you'll absolutely love it. Thanks for watching. See you down the road. Peace.